So, on top of my love of cinema, I am also an avid Minesweeper player. You know, that old school computer game where you click on cells in a grid until you flag all the mines or die trying. Anyway, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know how to play. And you also probably know that it's a game that requires speed, logic, and unfortunately, some luck. While some games in Minesweeper can be solved purely by logic and deduction, this is typically only the case about 30% of the time. And if you've ever played the game for longer than five minutes, you'll probably run into a tricky board that looks something like this. Or this. Or this. In all of these cases, there's no way for the player to 100% deduce where the mines are located with the given information. And the average player in these situations would either guess randomly or just give up. But for the especially dogged Minesweeper players out there, there may still be a way forward in these scenarios. Let's go back to the first example board and see how probability can give us the upper hand. Alright, now we just have to find all of the mine arrangements that could be possible for the given board. While we could calculate all of these arrangements by hand ourselves, I've written a computer program that will do all the dirty work for us, so we are simply left with the probability of each cell being a mine. And if we click on this cell right here, with only 15% chance of being a mine, we should be safe. Crap. Okay, but trust me, probability works. At least most of the time. Here's how. We start by identifying the revealed region of the board and generating all of the mine arrangements that could be possible given the neighboring numbers. So mine here, no mine here, mine here, no mine here, etc. until we have all eight possibilities in this case. Next, we go through each arrangement one by one and determine how many mines we use to generate that arrangement and how many mines are still unaccounted for in the unknown region. In this case, 99 minus 4 equals 95 mines remaining. These mines must be scattered somewhere in the unrevealed region of the board, so we can do a combinations calculation to determine how many different arrangements there are to place the remaining 95 mines. In this case, there are 465 choose 95 or 8.1 times 10 to the 100th power possible arrangements. This means that there are 8.1 times 10 to the 100th power number of grid arrangements where mines are located in these four spots specifically. We can then repeat these combination calculations for the rest of our revealed region arrangements. Next, we can superimpose the arrangements and sum up the mine numbers for the cells with the same mine locations in different arrangements. Finally, we divide each cell number by the grand total number of arrangements and multiply by 100 to get our cell probabilities. Easy peasy. Okay, not so easy to do by hand, but that's why I made the computer do it for me. And now, it can do it for you too. You can click the link in the description to go to a basic website I created where you can play guest-free Minesweeper for free. The controls are pretty self-explanatory, but briefly, you just right-click to reveal a cell, left-click to flag, Quick flag mode will switch these buttons for faster play or for mobile users, and left-clicking a number with correctly flagged mines will reveal its neighbors. Clicking on the Get Logic Deductions button will reveal which cells must and must not contain mines as determinable by logic rules alone. The Get Probabilities button will reveal the probabilities of all other cells. Finally, the Include Unbordered Probabilities toggle will also reveal the probability of non-edge cells being a mine but I'll leave how that calculation is done as an exercise for the viewer. I've also included a GitHub link in the description below where you can find the source code for those interested. I made this program because I love Minesweeper and I hope that those of you who also love Minesweeper can use it to improve your own success rates in the game. Thanks for watching the video and I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below. See ya!